We are in experiment number three to demonstrate the effectiveness of ferrite as HF suppressor. This experiment is a part of our EMI 20 EMI training lab from Amitech Electronics. We have connected the EMC analyzer to the X and Y channels of the CRO as described elsewhere. We have set the frequency display to 250 MHz which is the center of the frequency range of this particular instrument. We have connected a SMI cable to the RF input of the EMC analyzer and we are going to connect the SMI cable to the output of the noise generator as emission reference source. We need to be very careful while connecting and disconnecting these SMI connectors as these are delicate equipment. We need to be very precise when threading and unscrewing these connectors. This will improve the life of the connectors. Now you see the moment we energize the noise source, you observe that on the display the grass level has gone up. This, there is a huge amount of noise on the CRO. We can enable the persistence of the CRO as one second. The display is much clearer right now. But still a huge noise is being displayed with a very wide frequency range from a low frequency right up to 500 megahertz. A level of approximately constant level is being generated throughout the frequency range. We will try to enable a video filter so as to gain an approximate level. We can measure that the approximate level of the signal at 250 megahertz is minus 57 dBm right now. And the level is approximately one gratitude above the center level on the CR. Now observe what happens when we connect a ferrite HF suppressor. Here is a ferrite HF suppressor being provided. It comprises of a toroid composed of ferrite material and a coil of wire wound around it. It also has two capacitors connected towards ground in the shunt position and the ferrite is in the series and there is another capacitor at this connector. So this is acting as a low pass filter right now and the construction has been made in such a way using high conductivity material so as to improve the high frequency response. Now observe what happens. This is going to simulate the use of line filters in the filtering network either in the PCB or in the mains signal lines. Now we observe as, as we connect the line filter in series of our source and our receiver. Observe what happens. On the CRO, you see, now I have connected the filter. The noise level on the CRO has fallen down drastically. It has fallen down from about 10 dB, 20 dB, 30 dB, 40 dB and more even at 250 megahertz. Even at 500 megahertz the ferrite is showing a very high loss. This particular combination will allow the DC signal to pass through as can be observed that the isolation is lesser at the lower frequencies but as the frequency goes higher higher signal attenuation takes place so the ferrite is very effective as an HF suppressor and more so in combination with high frequency ceramic capacitors and is able to provide a signal attenuation of the order of 50 dB in the transmission line to be able to observe a higher dynamic range we will we can even try to replace the noise generated with 
of high power emission reference source as being provided here and we can plot the signal attenuation of the ferrite suppressor with the frequency in a plot. 